Hello again, most esteemed viewers. My name is Jekyll Stein Gray, and welcome to what I is what I guess is the second episode of Jekyll Stein Gray replays. Here we got the file from the first Jekyll Stein Gray plays video, Tabble Treble. Please don't watch it; it is not good. Um, and today, like like a couple hours ago, I think, as I'm recording this. They announced that it's coming to Switch and it's getting new stuff, new content, a new stage, all that jazz. So, that's cool. I'm excited for that. Um, and I was like, sweet, I should probably play this. So I am going to play this. Now, I'm hope I don't know as of this recording if the extra content is gonna come to the PC version. If it does, I'll do another playthrough of this game because I love this game a lot. I love this game deeply. So here we got my name selection. We're gonna go with um, Jekyll with a um, U instead of a Y because I misspelled my name on the second <laughs> or my my channel name on the second um, video of the series. Uh, second video. Uh, <laughs> sorry, um, I misspelled my name on the second. Um, video, the second Sun of the Skies video. That's it. Ugh. Welcome to Jekyll Sun Great Plates. If you're new, I have lost my train of thought several times. So, okay. Um, oh, love this game. Ah! So excited to play it, and I'm so excited that it's getting new stuff. Probably gonna buy it on Switch, especially if it doesn't, if they don't add the new content. I mean, even then, I might. Just want to play it on the go, but I can't. Re I won't be able to record it because well, I can't record stuff on the Switch because I'm poor. Anyway, adventure, adventure, yeah. Here we got the intro stage. Very good, solid intro stage. Nice song and also, you know, does a good exposition and teaches you the mechanics and whatnot. It actually is kind of, you know, I just realized this is kind of like um, Fallout. <laughs> Fallout um, 3, although not really because um, Tadpole being, t Tadpole, <laughs> Baton being a baby is actually, you know, kind of brought into the story. Also, this isn't an epic RPG adventure, so it's really not like, um, <laughs> it's really not like Fallout 3, a game that I actually haven't played, so. But I do, I do have a very highly rated comment on it with um, H bomb and on H bomber guys video. Um, so yeah, I I have much experience with this game. I played this game at least once on Wii U. That's when I first played it, and then I. Um, um, so I, my I had left a comment on um, uh, PBG's video, um, uh, um, Fallout Three, and uh, not PBG. What, what am I saying? H Bomber guy's video on Fallout Three, where he's like. Uh, it talks about President Eden, and I was like, and suddenly, President Eden wasn't racist anymore. It's funny, I don't know why I like this game so much, because I don't normally like these. This game is really short, like, this is why this is a one-shot. Um, but I think it also, you know, it has high replayability for those of you who care about that side of thing. You know, there's a lot of, uh... Um, there's a lot of like. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I normally don't like this type of rhythm games, but this game is just so charming. Oh, dang it. I was trying to get through that without getting hit. Oh, well. Way, Baton, that's too far. So I guess mild spoilers, this is gonna end up some something like finding Nemo. Ba-bum-bum-ba-bum-ba-bum-bum. Ba-bum-ba-bum-ba-bum-bum. 
Ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba. I guess this is my first Juggle Sangre plays replays one shot. Oh, so close to S. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not very good at rhythm games, in case it wasn't obvious. Here we got a comic cutscene. I remember watching a Game Explain video on this when it first was coming out, and the person did it who did it said like, um, if you like, if um, oh, what was it? It was if you like something, or if you're good, you know, do what you're good at, you know, and I first heard about this game through Brawl in the Family, which is a very excellent webcomic that I'll put a link to in the description, and you should check it out. Um, one of the only gaming, gaming webcomics I actually like. So here we got a bit of Finding Nemo story, um, uh, although the, the parents can't really go after Baton, because uh, there's a lot of other kids, I guess, or something, I don't know. Um, or they, or then again, they, it's very understandable. They just think the baton is dead, as terrible as that is. Um, Trout Tributary. So most of these songs, I, I think, are very good. Some of them, I think, are excellent, you know? Alright, I'm actually going to be pausing this game quite a couple, quite a bit. Just, um, if you know about, well, I want to get, there's a special secret pause menu song. Bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum bum. So yeah, I I wanted to try this with um a controller. Damn it. Ba da ba 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 ba. I ended up just being like, eh, you know, I, I might as well. I mean, this is a very simple game. It could be, it could work on heck. It could work on touch screen probably. Dang it. Um. Uh, sorry, there's gonna be points where I just have to concentrate. Oh man. Temple, honestly, Brawl in the Family was one of the games that really, like, sparked my love of games and, like, kind of talking about them and studying them, you know, not just playing them. So. You're welcome, or you know who to blame, or I guess, um, you know who to blame if, um, for, ow. Oh, I love this part. A bit of foreshadowing to Thunder Creek, maybe? Oh, we'll get to Thunder Creek. Honestly, I, at a certain point, I would recommend that you just... Um, you play this game for yourself. Um, so we have this big build up, and it's like, oh no, <laughs> we're gonna walk into the drought, and then a bear eats it. Thank you, bear. A bear joke. The completionist was also one of those channels that got me, again, interested. And then, of course, I played Shovel Knight, and I was like, wait, indie games are a thing? Once I realized that, like, indie games were a thing, I was like, oh, I could make my own game. And I, I guess I was always, like, on some level knew that that big budget AAA games weren't for me. At least not what I wanted to do with the, um, um, I can't believe I missed the last bubble. Hey, another A rank. I'm doing better at this than I did in my last, in my last, um, in my last video. My last, uh, yeah, my last video, my last playthrough. It's been a couple months. Um, uh, scam it. So there's actually apparently a, like, secret level that I've never played because it is, you have to, like, complete the game or whatever. This game, if you're a completionist, you should play this game. It's hard, but it also doesn't seem like it would be terrible, especially if you're better at, you know, rhythm games than I am. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, uh, here we got his, he always eats the, the things. I don't know 
if I would, again, I have barely played any rhythm games. So I don't know if this would count as a rhythm game. It certainly has some of that, those elements, but it also feels like it it should be like classified it like at least somewhat separately. Although I don't know why I think that exactly. I'm just gonna get a bit of a respite. I mean, this feels the most rhythmy. You know, like you have to under, you have to know the beat of the music. But you're not exactly penalized for not. Um, you're not exactly penalized for not um, uh, uh, hitting the beats. It's more like about dodging the notes and then also getting moving to the beat is good. You know, it, it yeah, anyway, I don't know. I don't know. What do I, what do I know? I'm just, again, rhythm games are really not my forte. Ow! Dang, I'm not doing well on this one. Dang. Ugh. Man. This is one of my least favorite songs in the... In the... Oh, what? Oh, I thought I had that. So yeah, this is one of my least favorite songs in the show. Hey, I got a, a challenge fly. What was, hey, what was that for? I don't, did I get that? I can't, it's been a while. I don't, hold on. Uh, again, this is very, you're very much jump for joy. Wait, what? No! Didn't mean to do that. Um, uh, adventure. So, so yeah, the, um, uh, it's one of my least favorite songs. And when I say so, so, it's one of my least favorite songs, it's just like, yeah, I wouldn't really listen to this. It, none of these songs I hate. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, I wouldn't really listen to this on my own time, but it's it's fun. I like I love this one. So here we get a chiptune mode. Apparently, you can unlock a chiptune filter for the whole game. Again, you have to be better at that than I am, though. <laughs> That's the thing, like, getting all a hundred, I, I try to get all the hundred, um, uh, bubbles in Thunder Creek, because that's just the best song in this game, like, objectively speaking. Not really, but, you know. But, and it is hard, because, like, you miss one, and you have to, like, restart the whole thing. You know, I feel like there's this, like, trade-off, you know, with super innovative games like this. There, I you, you can I they can be innovative, um, but they have to either be unpolished or short. You know that's one thing that I think that's the thing with super hot. Um, it's it's not um, very long, but it's also very innovative and very polished. Um, and that's the same thing with this game. Although this game has um, this game also does have a. Um, um, uh, sorry, um, so, um, oh yeah, so this game does have, again, a lot of replayability, um, Especially if you're going for 100% completion. The crying hills in the background, I think, are a reference to a, um... To a Brawl in the Family comic, or at least a certain, like... Maybe not a specific one, but a fascination, or something, I don't know. Um... Uh, I love this little guitar riff. <laughs> Um, oof, 
see. Hey, got a lot of bubbles though. Um, so, um, let's see. Oh, Midnight Bay is really good. Uh, what was I gonna say though? Oh yeah, so you gotta be. So this game is very short, but it's very well polished, and it's and it's super innovative. Um, yeah. So what else? There, I feel like there was something else. Um, uh, I love the little details on these maps, like the gooses, geese. Oh man, I need to tell my geese my my problem with geese story. I don't know. Uh, not right now though. Okay. Um, this one's fun. So this is one of the only spoken word songs, uh, song, song with lyrics, I should say, and it's very fun. Although Tadpole or er, Thunder Creek is better, obviously. Hello, Tadpole, on this midnight rendezvous, you seem lost, but don't worry. As I just might know the way through I swim here beside you I'd never need guide you I'd never deride you, dear I'll be your own ranger Protect you from danger Like blood-sucking strangers here I think we can Should go dancing Once we grow our own Two legs, may I say, you're entrancing, and I'm not a fellow who begs, but I feel we were destined to be, since we were eggs. You eventually unlock a bestiary for this game, and some of the, some of the, the flat toad we just need to think only. Some of the descriptions are hilarious. Sing to a sore throat if it kept you afloat. This is my love note for you. But I'm bum bum. Bayou's are so lovely. Bayou's are so beautiful. Bayou's are the girl of my dreams. Whoops. I knew my own congre, but I hope and pray by you feel the same way about me. So, um, the the creator of this game is from Louisiana, so I think that's one reason why this is set in, you know, there's French in this. Also, love song and whatnot. He could stay here forever. And I treat you like a queen. Beans and rice, rice and frankton, all a mange southern cuisine. Yet it looks like you're heading for grass is more green. Seems I'm a bit rusty, could use some modesty. Guess we'll just have to be friends. We stay out of trouble, keep grabbing those bubbles. I hope I'll see you again. And if you should get more, come on. Oh, I love this part. You're like, oh no, tons of mosquitoes. Oh, Psychic goes under. I don't know, I love that. Be bold and true, reprise my love note. This one that I wrote. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if I made the beat without the things to hit and then I then I missed it? That would have been funny. But I'm also glad I made it. For you. Let's see. So one thing I want to talk about is why this game underperformed. I mean, there's a lot of reasons. Hey, cha another challenge fly. I'm doing much better at this game than I was expecting my, me to do. Um, one thing that I think this game... This game does, you know, I, I feel like this game underperformed in a lot of ways. One, because I think Steam has a hard time, you know, marketing games outside of an established genre. Because, like I said, this game doesn't really fit into it. It's closest to a rhythm game, probably, but there's platformer elements and whatnot. And um, partly because, you know, it just didn't have the budget or whatever. And partly, you know, there's a bunch of reasons. Um, anyways... But, I don't know. I, I don't really want to dwell on why this game... I mean, partly just because sometimes games don't do very well. Um, so, I, it's interesting how we can't move on to the Barracuda Cavern. Spoiler alert. Another Finding Nemo type thing. 
Um, Rup. Thank you for distracting that snack for me. In return, I offer this piece of advice, Rup. Be sure to watch your back, or you just may be eaten. You would be most surprised to remember this is the dangerous crowd I want you to occur be heading into. Speaking of the Barracuda, yep. Better go to cabins. The beast of the world is quite as aggressive foe, but his eyes are quite sensitive to light. If you can find a way to brighten this day, you just might pull through. But since you are here, perhaps you would be obliged to help me out. You see, I desire bubbles. I know you have some on you. I would recognize that sweet cherry scent anywhere. If you give me your bubbles, I'll give you some nice rewards. It is not mandatory. Think of it as some sort of quest on the side. A side quest, if you will. Though I can make my own bubbles. They do not last long, and they, are certain, and they certainly do not smell of cherries. So please keep a mental image of my pleading eyes in your tactile brain as you collect these bubbles. Well, bubbles and challenge flies. So, bubble bank. Welcome to the bubble bank. I, I'll hang on to your bubbles in exchange for goodies accessible from the main menu. Wow, 447 bubbles. I picked the right host to bet on clearly. Keep, keep up the good work. Get my gratitude and my rewards. Enjoy them. What it? Why is it? Is that Jap is that Japanese? Why or why is it? I don't have any rewards though. What? I guess we should check out the main menu. I don't know. You have to the US perform certain feats to draw them out, for instance. Um, uh, in my stomach. Uh, I still. Alright, I'll, I'll have to come back and check on this later. This is weird. Um, if I, <laughs> it was not a pleasant sight. I love these little. Let's talk thing. There's so many like little de- again, I love- I've talked before, I love like little details in games. They make it feel more... I don't know, they make it feel... I don't know how to describe it. Um... Well, forget I said anything, we're up. Um... Kanji's song though, an enjoyable swan song when he is. Well, being cradled in the relentless embrace of death. Have fun. Really easy. It's fairly easy being green. Heh. I do. I do wish that they um, uh, don't eat guard of snakes after midnight. For out of brawl in the family. Um, uh, I'm. I'm gonna actually screenshot this. This might be the um, the thumbnail. Let's see. There we go. And started a few week, years ago I, at my my froggy family reunion when my cousin Kermie tried to eat me. Wait, is Kermie supposed to be like Kermit the Frog? I know that he's not really, but anyway. Um, I'm gonna get you, Kermie. Kickstarter your adventure. Thank you, Kickstarter backers. Seriously. Um... This... <laughs> This, the, the prob- I, I know I probably shouldn't be doing this, this probably isn't good, like, let's play Wisdom or whatever, but holy crap. Um, uh, Okay, yeah, I think this is- I think that was pretty much everything. Alright, bye! Go, little tadpole! Um, uh, Okay. So now it gives it to me. Um, uh, sweet. Beastiary 2. Just gonna let it run out. Um, uh, part of me is, a little bit, part of me like still wants to like examine, dissect this game and see why it underperformed. And part of me is like, I mean, you know, indie games, oftentimes, you know, we don't live in a meritocracy, and we never will. Meritocracy is a lie. Um, hey, Scarlet Letter! It is an A. Now I'm thinking about the Foxtrot about the Scarlet Letter. My mom told me once that she read, she had to read the Scarlet Letter three times in, in high school. Ah! That was a fail. This is one of the most challenging levels I remember. Although, I think I beat it first try in my last playthrough, but then again, it was my uh, my third playthrough or whatever. Bum, 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 bum. 
Bum, bum. Bum, bum. This is one of my, I like this song. It's very dark and mysterious and whatnot, which is totally out of character for me liking it. Although I think I mentioned this in the in the um, Heaven's Vault video, but I also really um, I've been listening to a lot of Green Day recently. Like there's specifically there's stuff about the Bush administration because of course. Um, this was probably a bad spot to use this because I think it's a this is supposed to be a breather spot. Oh, I think the challenge fly here is you gotta hit all the all the gold things, which I probably already missed the one I needed. Ow. Damn it. I love it how how they show that, you know, again, this game's very good at, you know, the classic tutorial of... Ow! This game's very good at the classic tutorial, you know, that teaches you without having to... You know, they don't have to tell you, watch out for... You know, they don't have to give you a text box or whatever. Ow. Um... I love this part. I guess this has a vocal elements, not lyrics though. Ow. I'm missing a lot of bubbles today. Ha! Oof. I got the challenge fly. Woo! Yeah, I think that was for getting all the hitting all the gold things. Scene viewers, so I think that's where all the comic cutscenes. This one's fun. Kind of reminds me of like the Banjo Kazooie snow level that I haven't actually played, but I've seen. Man, it's been a while since I watched Super Beard Board, Super Beard Bros video on it. God damn it. Um, a lot of these stages have little gimmicks that I like. Um, uh, you know. Um, Ba, 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 ba. This one's got, you know, cold weather, cold stuff you gotta avoid. Ah! Uh, if you, if you've, um, if you've seen this, my show before, you'll know that my lack of, you know, a lot of times, the, um, uh, my singing along to the, why is it in, hold on, why is it in, like, Japanese, or, but like, was it always like that? Did I just not notice? <laughs> I don't know. Um... I think you can tell a lot about certain people's priorities in games when they go after, depending on what they go after. For instance, I'm going after as many bubbles as I can because I, um... Um... Sorry, I'm going after as many as many bubbles as I can because I value progress and content unlocking more than uh, than uh, um, score. But I can see totally see someone going after these little. I don't know. I guess they're food. Why not? Oh, dang. 
dang it. I hate it when I'm like right off. Well, thank you, stage. Wee. Not bad. So this one's fun. This one's also pretty hard, though. I also, this is one one of my favorite themings. I mean, you know, considering that my last video was Heaven's Vault, which is like, in some ways, kind of Indiana Jones in space. Although that's. Um, that's actually, I wouldn't actually call it that, that's a, but I love these types of romanticized archaeological, um, style. Of course, the, I know that there's problematic aspects to that as well, but, oh, crap. Um, um, but, yeah, I don't know. I so I enjoy problematic things while acknowledging their problematic aspects. Hi. I don't know. I feel like I should be analyzing this more, and maybe I should be. But part of it is I'm trying not to die, and getting high scores. And part of it is I mean, there's not. It's a very simple game. You know, there's not a lot to like meet to dig into. But that's not this. That's not a bad thing. Like. And it does seem to be what they went out for, you know. And a lot of the, you know, extra materials for, um, I think these guys are one-hit kills, um, for Brawl and the Family, you know, um, uh, Matt Toronto talks about the, um, uh, talks about his love of, you know, simplicity and simplistic, you know, mechanics. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Um, and of course we got this Indiana Jones stuff going on. Ow. I don't remember that in Indiana Jones. I need to do a John Mulaney impression. Get well soon. I don't remember. I can't. I can't. Um, so yeah, this game is very simple, you know, simple story, simple mechanics, but, you know, but it's also, you know, sometimes simple is good. Those little twirly symbol things, those are going to be important later, actually. That was a weird sound. Um, uh, no! Oof. Barely passed. You actually, one of the medals you need to get, so there's like five medals for a stage, you know, challenge, fly, S rank, and F rank. And F rank is actually can be very hard to get. You have to do really bad, but you have to beat the stage. Oh yeah, so the, one of the medals is all the bubbles, S rank, F rank, beat the stage, and challenge fly, okay. Um, uh, let's see... Uh, Piranha Jungle. This one, so this one was really hard, especially at launch. I remember having so much trouble with this. Um, dum bum 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 bum. Um, they they added a couple more health back, you know, in a patch. Um, but this one is again, I remember it being very hard. <laughs> So similar to the turtle, they 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 you gotta avoid their food because that's what they lunch at, uh, at least at first. Now, 
Batman. So yeah, this is, I don't know if I just gotten better or if it's the changes. Honestly, probably both. But I, I do have an easier time with this now. Also, the music's pretty good. Ow. Oh yeah, those things hurt you. I actually don't know if the turtle food food hurts you, because I don't think I've ever accidentally ran into one. Although I might just not be remembering. Ow! Oh boy, I'm almost dead! I'm a oh! Dang it, I died! See what I meant about this being a challenge? I'm also just trying to talk, probably, which is probably not a good idea. If, you're, if you haven't played this game before, or you haven't gotten as into it as I have, um, you're probably wondering what I'm doing, and if you and if you if you're like me, you're probably like, oh, I know what he's doing. I just noticed that the the. The food did, did indeed reach for me. I'm gonna make good use of the treble charge this and this time. Almost like today for some reason. I was, I was, I'm kind of bummed that I can't destroy that, that food. Oh well, though. Bum, 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 I gotta stop scratching. But my, but my hair itches. <laughs> okay, we have these Venus fly chaps, and they're my favorite part of this whole stage. Freaking piranhas. Eat this, not me. Also, I'm pretty sure piranhas are carnivores, but then again, you know, video game. <laughs> oh. I think this, the challenge fight for this is actually to beat this without taking any damage. Which is very hard, as you can see. Or, the, or either it's very hard or I'm terrible at this game. Yay, fly chart. So let's see what we got. Um, uh, yeah, unscathed. Um, I'm actually gonna go back to Etude. Check out the bubble bank. Um, 
I don't know why it's in Japanese. It, I mean, it's not it's not really hindering anything, but it I don't know. I guess I want it to say what I unlocked in the language I can read. I don't know. Um, so let's see, unscathed. Uh, oh shoot! Wait, no, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I want. I there's a, I draw a line somewhere. Um, does it take me to the title screen or to the map? Map, okay. I actually didn't know that. Uh, okay. So now we go to Thunder Creek. This is the best song in the whole game. Most people would agree with me, and if you don't, you're wrong. It's a huge drink, pretty far from home. Got to with you tough. Oh, that was a fail. Now I'll add a map to Hello Beans down here, because this here's Thunder Creek. And you got a slug's chance in a sup mine of making it through here without a problem. You can use your mosey on back, cowpoke, before you choose good. Still hanging around? Well, don't say I didn't warn ya. At least you'll be able to enjoy one last song, courtesy of my snail amigos. Adios, muchacho. It should be muchacha, but whatever. Also, if you want me to survive, maybe don't let put your snail friends here. They're the ones that are probably gonna kill me. Alright, do get out to live for a few folks survive Thunder Creek. We're asking how to make it through Thunder Creek. You may just stand a chance with this technique. You see the symbol, give it away, and you gotta be nimble, bold, and brave, or else it's me or me. I just, I do I don't know if I've done, used the tap, tap, tadpole meter in this level for, at least not for a while. I didn't know that they just, I like how they drop instead of getting destroyed, you know. It makes it, well one, it makes it less, like, freaky. And two, it, it makes, um, it, it, it reinforces the idea that they are snails, you know. We're pushing you to watch some through Thunder Creek, Thunder Creek. Now I shot that how to find physique. On the line, the hydra standing tall, the friends of the and no dumb marble, what destroys them all? Thunder Creek! Ah! I don't think I've ever gotten hit by bullets in this in this segment. Wow, but I keep hitting missing those stupid Oh, I think I should have hit that to the X. The major still alive in Thunder Creek. And this catcher crane has almost reached his peak. A big mouth can you mature no matter what happens to the rest of your shortest child that endured Thunder Creek, Thunder Creek. So go, little tadpole, find your way back home. Swim for that same time. It's too high for me. Go, little tadpole. You're almost done, well done. And when you get back, you can say that you took it in stride inside Thunder Creek. Thunder Creek. Oh, I wanted an S ranking. Oh well. Uh, I love this game. B series three, okay. Alright. So we're actually getting close to the end. I would honestly I really want, I'll put a link to this game in the description, I would, I would really, I would highly recommend that you go play this, because this is, this is very, a very good game. Um, so, and this would be a good spot to leave, honestly, we don't want to have the ending spoiled. Um, so yeah, um, what, I love how, I also love how, um, uh, I just love how A2 just randomly pops up in that song, I don't know. The eyes have it. I probably have to go through all the eyes in the last stage. 
Um, all right, this one. This one is kind of the, you know, end of the third act, you know. This game's story is actually, I actually like it, you know. It's, it's simple, again, it's simple, you know, but it's also, it's also, yeah, I know. I like bar, I've played this game before. But it's also very, um, uh, it's also, sorry, it's also very, um, uh, Affecting, you know, like this you can and and there's and the mechanics tie into it as well Which is something I always appreciate, you know, like the, you get a sense of Baton's desperation to get home and the um, I mean just because this just like having the score um, uh, Having the score. Oh, I didn't know those could hurt you um, having having the score like Not be able to get very high is I don't know to me it, to me it adds to the mood Let's see. Um, now, for some reason, now I'm thinking about Games' as lit series on Gears of War, which I need to rewatch. I haven't watched it in a while. Um, but uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, ow. Here we got pelicans. Uh oh. What are the lag for? So the challenge fly you get by staying underwater the whole time. I'm not gonna do that though, because I want to show you guys this as if it was kind of a first playthrough, and also just because I don't feel like it. Um, what are you expecting? Another, uh, another option? I actually, I would be. I doubt that it's possible to get the challenge fly and an S rank on the same stage. Even the, even the freaking, um, uh, oh, so close. Yeah, get it, you're off me. Ugh. There we go. I also, I love how, you know, starts off as this, like, mournful tune, and it still stays that way, but, like, gradually it gets more, like, hopeful, more... Sorry, you gotta focus on timing. What? I feel like I'm hearing baby voices in my ear. Although I don't know where they're coming from. Get away! Screw you! I didn't come all this way just to get eaten by the person who started me this whole mess. Oh, so close! Especially for me. Got lots of bubbles. So he's like, yay! End of Act 2. You know, this act game actually does have a pretty standard 3X structure. Again, simple, not, but also very compelling. Um, oh no, there, there were humans on here somewhere before, and now there's oil. And the bird's like, I gotta, the, the, the bird is like, we gotta team up. We have a common foe, you and I. And Baton's like, oh, I don't want to fall for that. And then, and then she's like, yeah, whatever. And then jumps in. Um, uh, all right, final boss time. I actually kind of like that you can't replay Tadpole Pond. Spoiler alert, until you beat the game. When you beat the game, you can replay Tadpole Pond. Um, 
And as we see, it doesn't take that long to beat the game. And it's honestly not that hard, you know? It's not about- I love this. Oh no, my home has been covered in oil. What is the cause of this? So this, um, this level is... I've heard people had problems with it. I had problems with it the first time too, I remember. It's, it's, it's one of those levels that, final bosses, that kind of introduces a whole bunch of new mechanics. And that can be kind of annoying. But, uh, like it took me forever to realize this is what I had to do. Ow. Um... You know, it's kind of weird to have this. Again, it's. Ow. So, yeah, so. I'd rather not be sliced and diced, please. I wish I could hit it multiple times, but. Yeah. You know, I do like this as a, you know, final thing. It just, I don't know. I don't know how, I like, I can't think of really an alternative, but I don't know. I probably shouldn't have eaten those, because I don't think I needed them. There we go, there's stage two done. So now the streak is back. I don't really know why, but I love this song. Not as much as Thunder Creek, obviously, but on the refrain. Yes, ma'am, if you want to join in fun, follow the lyrics with your eyes. But if you do so, make sure that you don't die. How? I'm in this until the end of time. I can't escape another refrain. No, ma'am. But if you have ow, throw the way out of the loop. You better tell me, or I make some tadpole soup. Tadpole soup. Call your buddies from coast to coast. Get them all in here tonight. Just give me a thing me and how. There we go. That music is seven here, and little tadpoles are jamming here. So and now, what's a life without adventure? And what's life without some pain? Hey, Baton, we couldn't just keep rocking, girl. No, rock to the guy. Oh, no! So yeah, then it starts over to win. It's time to kick this party off. Time to drop a couple of rhymes. Time to sing another refrain. Yes, ma'am. If you want to join in fun, follow the lyrics with your eyes. But if you do so, make sure that you don't die. Oh, I thought that was it. I think you gotta do five? I can't escape another refrain. No, ma'am. But if you happen to know the way out of this room, you better tell me, or I might make some tadpole soup. Tadpole soup? Still not dead. Coast to coast, get them all in here tonight. Ah! Oh. The music is slamming here. Little tadpole is jamming here. There we go. Oh! And I just about died. I actually wonder what would happen if I died there. Um, I actually wonder what would happen if I had died there without, um, uh, like right after winning. Because I hate it when that happens when you win and then you die and then you have to do it all over again, even though you've technically completed the challenge. So here we got the climax. Boom. Land. Oh. Oh, so sad. Like I, 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 I might sound like I'm mocking, but I do think this is very like. Uh, I don't know. I find myself invested in this, in this cute little tadpole's plight. And then it's very sad, and but then she looks behind her, and what? She got legs. I love it because it's like. Again, simple, and it's it's got its plot functionality, but it also like is like oh she's matured, you know she's clearly you know, coming of age, 
She's achieved her coming of age story and whatnot. So now we have this uh, credit sequence. Oh, I love this game. I can't, I honestly can't wait for the, like, I was not expecting this game to come to Switch. Especially not with new content, but man, am I excited. So you got a little, I don't know, medley? I guess it's, yeah, medley. I love interactive credit sequences. Wii U implementation. Thank you, people who made the Wii U version, because that's the version I played first and it was good. In case it wasn't clear, I am playing this on PC. Although I think that is pretty clear. Um, I will shady be so watching the bull and turning. So, voiced by cast around the uh, developer family members, which is something that we'll be getting into when I eventually get around to doing a, a um, um, uh, uh, Sage Rush one shot. That's it. Oh, that's, that's gonna be a heavy one. I'll put a link to Sage to Sagebrush's Steam page in the description too. That's one you should check out too. Although it's almost nothing like this. We got the producers. I still don't really know what a game to do. What is this? Why are you? Why is this? Why is the E trapped in the screen? So these are, I think, the Kickstarter backers. And these, these singer, one of the Kickstarter rewards was singing in the credits. So that's what these people are doing. You mature no matter what happens, you can rest assured with a child that endured Thunder Creek, Thunder Creek. So go, little tadpole, find your way back home. Swim for that sanctum, you see. I, I don't know, I feel like I'm trying to do it higher now, I don't know why. I, I'm bad at singing, I know, I'm sorry. Well done. When you get back, you can say that you took it in stride inside Thunder Creek. Thunder Creek. the saltwater cape and more Kickstarter backers. Thank you, Kickstarter backers. Uh, let's see. I totally would have backed this if I like had disposable income. About and I don't think I knew about this game until after the Kickstarter was over. Um, um, I think the first time I checked that Kickstarter was actually the books, the Brawl in the Family physical books, which I didn't um, end up backing in it right now. Um, but again, I didn't have. That was years ago, and I didn't have any disposable income then, so it was a bit trickier. <laughs> The adventure and what's life without some pain. I Benjamin and Isaac. I don't know, just thought I would hit spacebar a bunch. Oh, I love this little scene. I don't know, I get chills, I just love it every time. Thanks for guiding me home, Jek Jekyll. <laughs> Although it it does kind of undercut it when you give it a silly name, but not really. The end. Let's see. They're gonna send me back to the to the um, beginning, and I think we're going to. Uh, 
Oh, I love that. All right, we are going to sort of mode in the credits. Um. Let's see. Uh, so we might go to the main menu and check out some of the extras. But I kind of want to here. Murder, name, All right, we're gonna go back to. I'm not gonna do this whole song again. I'm not gonna do the whole game again. I just really want to. Um... Come on. Come on. Pause menu song. Yes! Yes! Woo! Sometimes when playing all your video games, you feel, feel the urge, urge to swiftly stop. stop. If nature's calling, don't let us hold you back. So go or else your bladder might pop. Or maybe someone's calling you on the phone. Ring, ring. They'll hear us singing to him now. La. Hey, telephone. Trump thinks we're stopping our game. You wrecked your friend's high score. What a pal. Or maybe now's the time to clean up your act. Hey, pass the soap to take a shower because you smell. Well, regardless if you need a bath or a snack. My goodness, we can't stop for a spell and sing along. Pause menu song. We'll sing a strong pause menu song. Yeah, so go grab a snack. We'll be here when you get back with our pause menu song. It's the pause menu song. It's the pause menu song. It's the pause menu song. In the pause menu song. Great mother is me. Pause menu song. Free me from the pause menu song. Yeah, well, I just gave up on trying to sing it well at all. Here come the men! Here come the men! The men with the white coats. I'm actually curious. I've never actually gotten this in. Okay, it just restarts. But okay, so I've never actually gotten that in game. My, it's funny. My, my. My sister played this, and she told me, like, oh yeah, my favorite song is the pause menu song. And I was like, that little, like, instrumental ditty? And she was like, she was like, oh no, that, and then she, like, showed me the video of it on YouTube, which I'll also link to in the description. And I was like, yes, this is amazing! Okay. I'm gonna move away from my shameful D rating to my Scarlet Letter. My much less shameful Scarlet Letter. Um, here, let's see. Uh, how do I... Main menu. There we go. I love this song too. Oh yeah, we get composition mode. I don't know. I guess we'll show it out. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not responsible for if you do copyrighted music or whatever. Um, I'm gonna just. I'm not even gonna try. This is. I have no idea how music works, and I don't have much like level design experience, if any, so, um, we are just gonna exit, um, yes. Very cool that it's there, though. I'm not saying, though, you, I mean, I've, I've played around with it, especially on Wii U. Uh, it's very cool, but don't get me wrong, but I'm just really bad at it, and I don't want to show you how bad exactly. Extras, uh, music player. So this is just, um, uh, uh, the stuff, I, I don't know which ones, let's see, here we got Thunder Creek, wait, hold on, alright, All right, anyway, this is cool, I just want to show off some of these features before we go, um, Let's see. Let's go to options. Definitely don't want a data clear. Um, fifty-one percent only. Wow. Uh, okay, extras. Concerto. I've never actually done concerto mode. 
Cold and sad. Maybe I should sometime. I don't know. No, not today though. Not or not right now. I don't know. Maybe today. Who knows? So yeah, here we got the uh, comics, and then I want to check out the bestiary because this is the most fun. Um, so we get baton. Anything with a mouth bigger than her. So most things. Um. Mother, mother 4000 has difficulty keeping thousands of children safe. How dare she? Not big enough to swallow Pelican Hole. How dare he? Um, let's see. Oh, I really wish there was the, the John Oliver frog. The, um, um, I'll put a link to that description. I would, but uh, it's, it's in his Lethal Injections video. I know, I know. It's... But it's weird. last week tonight is weird, and I love it. Um, but there's a frog that makes a very cute sound when it's angry. Um, literally born yet, literally born yet yesterday. Um, fortunately, he doesn't seem like he's gonna end up like an incel. Um, bees, butterflies, uh, trouts, bears. Uh, Weaknesses I'm not brave enough to find out. Um, uh, ducks. Easily see. Yep, duck hunt. Duck hunt. Duck, duck hunt ducks. Um, uh, wait, hold on. Oh yeah, so it does show that her pixelated version. Mosquitoes. Okay, the one animal that I'm kind of okay with going extinct. <laughs> Um, they're less thrilled about the sudden spears jutting out of their water supply. Um, uh, I actually am kind of interested in the lore, even though it's not, I mean, it's not really important. Weakness is vegetarians. The vegetarian, okay, that's, I think that's enough for now. I don't know, it, got, it wasn't a great high note to end on, but whatever. So, um, thank you for watching, esteemed viewers. Um, how is this recording doing? It seems to have been doing okay, which is good. Um, this is almost, this is saving up to be almost exactly as long as my last. Then again, this game doesn't, this game takes about the same amount of time to play, regardless of what you spend it doing. Anyway, so thank you for watching, esteemed viewers. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. If you have something, if you have something to say, let me know in the comments. Whew. Gotta be, gotta be articulate. Um, like the video if you give it a like. I think I already mentioned that. If you want to be notified when I do, if slash when I do a um, another a video on Tapple Travel Encore, um, or just when um, I do anything else, uh, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. All those help me with the algorithm and and my like self confidence. So I'd really appreciate it. Um, Twitter letterbox and all the other links I mentioned below in the description. Um, uh, anything else? Um, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I decided to. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, share the video, share the video with anyone you think would like it. All right. That is all for today, esteemed viewers. I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.